member of Energy Standard Olympic champion Femke Heemskirk. Thank you so much for stopping by. What a successful two days for Energy Standard. How would you reflect on the level of competition that you guys brought to the pool? Uh, I think the team did obviously very well. Uh, I think especially when we had those back to back to back. So the first meet that I didn't do, but then there was a block of two weeks that we didn't have any races. So you never know how you're going to come out of that. And uh, our team just keeps on improving, and uh, it's it's great to have the, to feel that energy uh, around. Yeah. Quite literally, the energy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> where is the, how is the confidence now going into the semi-finals as well? Because three matches in a row is, is great stuff. Yeah, but it's a great stuff, but it's also quite uh, challenging because uh, everyone's going to feel the fatigue a little bit. I think we have three and a half days now before the semi-final. Uh, I think we shouldn't think that we are already in the final. I think we should really like focusing on how we've been doing. Um, and just uh, everyone uh, is back to zero uh, after this one. So. And how are you feeling <laughs> after your skins? I'm feeling pretty good, <laughs> but I had two. I mean, if I had three, it's uh, it's a different story. <laughs> it's an, it's, I mean, it's, it's interesting for those that don't know, never done a skins before, which many people never have. What's it like? Uh, it's it's first of all, it's fun. Like the whole team is in the box and they're cheering for you, and there's a, a big pressure on your shoulders because there are a lot of points to gain. And uh, for me, basically, it's just going all out because I don't have any reserve to slow it down, like for example, Sarah can do. And, uh, and then my uh, strength comes in that I can also do 200, for example, so I can, like, don't drop too much time. Um, I almost made it to the third round, so uh, I just keep on trying. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were very close indeed, third for the second time in a row, but well done in that one, and certainly well done in your, um, in your 100 free as well, because you were second in that too. We can actually relive a little bit of that race. So here you are. Do you want to talk us through this race? Um, so I wanted to do some easy speeds, but the girls next to me uh, were doing even more easy, easy speeds. <laughs> and then they tried to hang on my speed. <laughs> and uh, I think my swimming was pretty good. Uh, I just, uh, my turns, I didn't hit them very well. But then again, I did a very good finish and that made me uh, come in second behind Sarah. So then it doesn't matter if you're second or first because the points go to energy standard. Well, so you three know each other so well and have probably raced each other yeah. hundreds of times. So it's I know. Kind of like... <laughs> this was basically uh, the world's uh, podium in 2014. Only then I won. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you've had your moment. Can you, yeah, can you know, talk us good. through, because people didn't know this, you got married in lockdown, right? Yeah, so um, when lockdown started in the Netherlands, um, the, the border started to close and my, uh, my then boyfriend uh, lives in California. So I flew over to Canada because we thought maybe they are a little bit more polite and, you know, but that didn't happen. So uh, to make a long story short, we had to get married and I got married almost like this in a jogging because I was not prepared at all uh, in a coffee shop. <laughs> and we had to ask uh, some people in the row for waiting for their coffee to be our witness. And it was just from the moment we decided, OK, let's get married three hours before the guy said, I'm now declare your husband and wife. It was insane. It was insane. <laughs> How do you look back on that? Because that, it's almost even more special because it's so different to, to what you would have traditionally yeah, done. But then in the end, like with my husband and I, it's, it's never normal. <laughs> so I was like, OK, <laughs> this, uh, this, this is the normal. This is the normal. That is never normal. <laughs> well, then obviously this year continues in a kind of abnormal fashion as well. Obviously the pandemic, you're getting married in a coffee shop in Vancouver and then now we're here at ISL. How much have you enjoyed being here and being able to, to swim the amount that you, you have? Um, I didn't realize I was talking to you the other day about this. Uh, I knew I was missing racing, but since I'm here and I get the vibes and I have all these strong competitors uh, next to me, I really enjoying it so much. I think we're so privileged and I think we should keep in mind that we are privileged and that there are a lot of people at home uh, for me in the Netherlands that are again in lockdown, they can't swim. So I really feel bad for them and uh, I hope I can give them some entertainment while they have to be in lockdown and uh, that's the only thing we can do basically. So it's a bit like double, you know, like I feel for them, but I also enjoy a lot that I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Well, Femke, I'm sure everyone in the Netherlands is supporting you and Team Energy as well, because you guys have been doing a fantastic job. Well done, and we'll see you in a few days for the semi-final. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>